What's going on guys, Tiger here, and uh, I have some Nevada Dynasty coming at you guys, and you guys know right before all my Dynasty videos, whether it's online or offline, I always show you guys a bit of recruiting, so here it comes, I have some recruiting, and I just want to show you guys a small snippet, because I'm looking at centers, I originally had like three or two centers I believe, but I, re I removed them off of the recruiting board. And I added these two guys, and one of them is a Juca. Juca means junior. That is a junior right now at community college, I believe. So, one of them, if I get him, he'll come in. He come in as a junior, and this other guy, Dennis Smith. I'm looking at him as run block 74. I like that. So they're both pretty low overalls, but this is the only thing we can practically get. I I was just setting my um eyes too high before, and for next, this is the reality. Basically, I gotta stick with 60 overalls and try to recruit 60 overalls because you see here when I'm trying to recruit, a lot of the things are C minuses and D pluses, so it's really hard to recruit those top of these five star recruits or those four star recruits. So I have to start off s slow, and I think I'm only trying to go for a couple four star recruits and maybe one five star, but it's a long shot unless they have you as one of those top schools but I picked these guys because they only had two schools at in their list so all I have to do is leapfrog these two schools and I can maybe get them see here it's hard to recruit coaching uh, like you see I only got plus one on that it's really tough because the th things I do have solid season they're not getting me anywhere so practically all I have all to get like a bunch of points for recruiting I have to offer them a scholarship and I have to promise something because pitching anything won't work out. Yeah, we're taking on Rutgers at Rutgers. This is a game I put on our schedule because, I don't know, I was just, when I was making the schedule, I was thinking about Blood Fur for some reason. I know that Rutgers is his favorite team. So, you know what? I was like, I live in New Jersey too. And my sister was actually thinking about going to Rutgers. So, it's like something I was just thinking about. And it's always something that I've always wanted to go to a Rutgers game. I actually, I actually wrestle in real life, and I've actually, I actually know the Rutgers wrestling coach. So it's another thing. So yeah, we're at Rutgers right now. So we traveled all the way from Nevada to Rutgers. You probably never see this game in real life, but I thought they were like somewhere near our skill level too, somewhere there. So it's an exciting game, and you know. The wide receiver Mark Harrison. I know a lot of you guys know Mark Harrison. If you watch the Minnesota Vikings series over on Mr. Hurricane's channel, Mark Harrison actually went to college in and at Rutgers actually. So he is in his senior year, I believe, right now, and he's makes a big impact in this game. He's a wide receiver. So I know I know he starts for Mr. Hurricane over at the Minnesota Vikings series. So he is kind of like an X factor in this game. Yeah, I like the Rutgers field. That the stadium looks nice. It's nice and clean and stuff. It really looks like a nice stadium. And this presentation, this presentation in this game, makes it makes the game look ten times better in my opinion. We're out here in the coin toss after taking a tough top loss the week before to Texas and M. We're coming at you guys at Rutgers. So Rutgers has has the ball back. Uh, has the ball first, I believe. And man in motion right here. And the quarterback, Novus, drops back to pass. He throws the ball deep to a wide open wide receiver right there, right for first down. So they have a new set of downs. And he was just, I don't know what what happened there. I don't know if, I think I was playing man here and it just got blown or that zone coverage just got blown out. But yeah, they have a new set of downs right here. Novus drops back to pass. He sits in the pocket. He throws the ball again, and he hits his tight end Jefferson, I believe. Yeah, just another zone coverage balloon right there. So he forced them to third and three. Though, and we're blitzing them. He hands the ball off to his running back. He has clear field, and he gets stopped at the one yard line right there. But we back him up. So it's third down. Uh, it's third and goal, and Novus drops back to pass. And he hits their tight end Jefferson for a touchdown right there. So they're quickly up 7-0. And we go 3-0 and out actually. And the Rutgers gets the ball back in great field position. And he hands the ball off to 
their running back, and he picks up a bunch of yards there. Their offensive line just gave him a huge hole. So they have a new set of downs. So, like I said, they started off in excellent, excellent field position. So Nova drops back to pass here, and he ends up getting sacked right here. We brought the pressure in. Yeah, their offensive line couldn't hold up there, and we forced them to kick a field goal, actually. They had sacked. They couldn't get anything going, so they have to kick a field goal. And the kick is up, and it is short. So after going three and out, actually, nothing bad happens, and they don't end up scoring. So that's a plus right there. So we finally have the ball. Our quarterback, Cody, drops back to pass, and he ends up getting sacked right there on third down. So this Rutgers defense is stuck. They just keep... Forcing us to punt yet again. We had to punt there, but we forced them into a third down and they have the ball. So their quarterback Nova drops back to pass. He throws the ball deep to right, but he ends up dropping the pass right there. So that was a big stop for us right there. Big, big stop. So they're forced to punt right now. And they actually fake the punt, have open field right here. But he, their runner ends up breaking the tackle. And yeah, this is one thing. I did not expect because in Madden they never do this and Madden they never do this but this is like a whole nother game NCAAs it's a whole nother game they go for it on fourth down in this game they do no huddle in this game a bunch of times they just yeah and you see here Mark Harrison just jumps over our defender right there and this is why I'm trying to recruit taller cornerbacks taller strong safeties yeah stuff like that Mark Harrison just easily reaches over our cornerback that's why cornerback actually safety that I'm looking at is six foot seven. That's perfect size. I think that's perfect size, yeah. So we have the ball back right here. We go deep and we hit our wide receiver right there, streaking down the field. So we call some hurry up offense right here. Because there's only thirty six seconds left in the second quarter. So everybody's rushing back. I noticed the quarterback is always like the last one to always make it back to the line, but Cody dropped back to pass and he ends up getting sacked right there. Rutgers brought the pressure at the perfect time. So, right now it is second and 16, and Cody dropped back to pass. He ends up getting drilled yet again. And we now it's third and 16. We just do slant routes because I didn't expect to get a, get a new set of downs there, and I just wanted to make it an easier field goal when we hit this slant for our kicker because our kicker isn't the best so we easily boot this through right there and we end up um going into the, the second half of the game 14 down in this game 14 to 3 so Rutgers has the ball but we force them to third down and 10 so Nova just back to pass he sits in the pocket he finds Mark Harrison right there for catch but they end up stalling out afterwards so we get the ball back right now and Cody's reflect the pass and you see here wide receiver wide open and he just drops the ball I don't know one thing I hate about these sliders that I'm using the catching is this I feel like it's off because wide receivers are just dropping the ball when they're wide open I don't get it but see here we go deep again and we hit Bradley you guys remember Bradley in the last game against Texas A&M he had like four touchdowns, I believe. He just easily like sh the strider through Texas A and them. See here, we hit. I what I believe that was Bradley again for a touchdown. Say Bradley coming up big with that streak. He caught the ball right there and he got got us a touchdown. So we're on. So it is fourteen and to ten right now. So we are back in this game. So Rutgers has the ball second and two right now and they have a man in motion man coming across and what are they going to do They're taking their time and they hand the ball to her and they pitch it out I believe and yeah even Madden even in this game we cannot stop the run we cannot stop the run I don't know what's up with this but we really cannot stop the run in any football game so again they get a new set of downs man in motion yet again and Nova hands the ball after a running back, and he finds a huge, huge hole. Again, their offensive line is blocking really, really well this game. So another new set of downs, and yeah, they just keep feeding the beast. But you see here, we force them. They're doing a play action, and that ends up going for a fumble. 
this was actually one of my favorite plays of the whole damn favorite moments. So you see here, they did the play action pass to quarterback. I felt pressure coming. He had a defender chasing him around, so he was forced to throw the ball, and he made a bad pass, and yeah, that costed them right there. That was a really costly, costly turnover, and we ended up, we ended up getting the ball back. So Cody drops back the pass. He hits Bradley coming across with the slant. But we end up getting forced into a third and ten situation play action pass right now. And yeah, wide receiver just dropping the ball yet again. I, don't, I think this is the same guy, but yeah, he dropped the ball, so we're forced to punt the ball. But we forced the Rutgers Scar Scarlet Knights to a third down situation. Nova drops back to pass. And he hits Mark Harrison. He ends up getting two feet inbounds, or one foot inbounds, I believe, in Mark Harrison. From the above, clutch, clutch catch on third down so it is first and ten Nova drops back to pass and he throws the ball over to Mark Harrison again coming across the middle Mark Harrison just showing his speed and his size he's just shredding our defense right now so I don't know what we're doing man coverage doesn't work and zone coverage wasn't working so we're going back to zone again and I have a new set of downs three minutes left in the game Nova drops back to pass and he's sitting in the pocket all day to throw, it seems like, all day, all day. And that pass goes nowhere. He tried hitting Mark Harrison. Oh, ac actually, this is Mark Harrison. I ended up, I wanted to shut him down on this play, and you see here him getting mad. But they are forced to kick a field goal, and they already missed a field, one field goal today. And this field goal is actually longer than the one they missed, so this kick ends up being missed. So they end up missing the field goal. And we get good field position to first and ten. This is where we have to come up, play action pass. And Cody um, fires the ball way too far. So we have to try to hit uh, hit our guys perfectly. So Cody's trying to do a play identical again. So Cody drops back to pass. And he throws the ball deep to Rutgers to finish. And it is picked off. This is one thing you couldn't and you cannot do. And they get a decent return with that kick to, and with that um, interception. So this Rutgers defense showed, showed up. And we're out of timeouts right now. We have to stop them here if we want to get back into this game. So it's third down 11. What are we going to do? This is where it needs to happen. If we don't stop them right here, that's a game. And so Nova's milking the clock right now. I'm milking the, shot, the um, play clock right now. 30, 35, 32 seconds left. Nova drops back to pass. We're bringing the pressure. There's a whole bunch of Nevada, but he ends up hitting his open man right there. We just tried sending the house basically, and yeah, I thought that pressure was going to end up being too much for them, but Rutgers ends up winning Mark Harrison, player of the game. Five receptions, 96 yards, and a touchdown. He was indeed the X Factor in this game, and our Nevada Wolf Pack ended up dropping two close games in a row. So we're getting off the bumpy road, basically. We're 0-2 of the season. These are games I expected to win. And I don't know what to say. Texas A&M beat us in the close one. Rutgers beat us in the close one. And I don't know, guys. we got to rebound off, really, because I want to build this Nevada Wolfpack into a great dynasty. But I didn't expect us to start off this bumpy. So, yeah. We end up losing this game. We still had a pretty good game. See here, Cody had one touchdown, one interception. They both, they're both quarterbacks had good games, I believe. The quarterback range were good. See here, James, Jameson, they were running back 112 yards rushing. And we had our running game was practically non existent today. Bradley basically carried our team with reception, six catches for 98 yards. Everybody else only had one catch. So, and those drops too, those drops killed us to can't be dropping the ball like that. But yeah, please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next Nevada video. I, I try to upload one video each day, so leave me a like.